Hello. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to be the best Cypher main when attacking on Bind. I've made a defense guide if you guys want to check that out. But I know we struggle a little bit on attack, you know, when to buy tripwires, how to lurk. So all of that's going to be covered in this video. So, let's get into it. Alright, I'll start off with tripwires you want to place if you guys are pushing A and if you are also pushing A with your team. So, usually I would place two, but let's say you you don't have enough money to buy two. So let's say you only have one. If you only have one tripwire, then I would suggest putting it here. Why, you may ask? It's because if anybody is pushing out of hooker, they're going to end up at that tripwire. And if anybody has pushed down into long and now wants to flank you this way, they're going to end up here. The only reason why I buy two tripwires is because if the guy is coming from long, he can easily here. go inside cave and then flank you guys from showers. So that's why I get two. But if you have one, then this one's perfectly fine because a lot of the time anybody who does end up here isn't going to want to then go all the way back around because it's a waste of time and you guys will then have an advantage. But if you are using both of your tripwires, I suggest the first one being here to hold the flank 2A, especially with these new cypher buffs. Now nothing can break this tripwire. And if enemies are actually pushing up and want to break this tripwire, they have to actually peek out and break this one, so a lot of the time they're going to get caught by this. And if a Sky now dogs out of Hooker to clear everything, her dog won't break the tripwire. It'll just get revealed by it, thankfully, because of these new Cypher buffs. So it'll just get revealed by the tripwire. It'll keep going, but the tripwire won't break and will then remain active. So if anybody does decide to flank, it's then going to, you know, ping them. So it's such a good buff, and this one's fantastic at doing that. And the second one is for if enemy... If enemies are pushing out of long. So what we do is just this nice simple one like this. That goes all the way across. Just underneath this kind of metal box. Because enemies can't go underneath it. Or jump over it. This tripwire is perfectly fine. Paired with this one. So that means no one is going to be able to flank you. And you have just that extra couple of meters of space. Of area control on this map. The tripwire is here, so you technically have control of all of this area now, instead of just all of this area. So you've got now you've got all of this area, including all of this, if you don't place this tripwire there. So this is a pretty, pretty nice setup you can do. Prevents enemies from, like, fully committing to the flank, so they'll get up to the tripwire, and then they have to decide, do I flank, do I not flank? So it's kind of making them slow down their playstyle, which is nice. This tripwire is also pretty good. If you want to get even more space, maybe, then you can move this tripwire to around here. And if you don't want people jumping over it or having an easier time, then just move it out a little bit. But it's very unlikely that enemies will be able to get up here because of all these rocks sticking out, they're just going to bump into them and it'll knock them back down. It'll slow their momentum. So these tripwires are also pretty nice. Gives you a little bit more space. So if you want to push a site, these are the tripwires you want to do. If you want to vary this tripwire a little bit, maybe, I don't know, maybe you want to feel a little bit fancy, then what you can do is if you actually aim inside this shop, you get a pretty nice tripwire. That actually is at head level, so they can't crouch or anything underneath it. So that's, that's a pretty nice one, especially in high elo, this one's pretty nice. Because if enemies are pushing, usually you want to peek an angle from further away from it, so you can get an advantage over your enemies. Because if I peek an angle like this, the enemy can see my right shoulder, but I can't even see the enemy. If I peek like this, it makes the fight a little bit more fair. So, the high elo players will tend to peek the angle like this, so they'll think it's free. They'll just walk out and then buzz. So, this is pretty nice. It's a nice variation. You don't have to do this one, but it's also nice. It's a little bit fancy. You know, you can use this one in your games. Alright, now that we've covered the flank tripwires, I'm going to discuss attacking. Now, as a Cypher, you usually don't want to push the same area as your teammates. So if your teammates are all going down short, or maybe there's three enemies going down short, then what you want to do, you want to go into showers to push. I suggest going showers almost every time you push A, because you can use your camera to clear it out for you, rather than having like a sky flash it or dog it or anything like that. So once your camera clears it, fantastic. Now you've got free space. If an enemy Sage walls across it like this, or maybe she walls it across like this, or some silly thing like that, it's fine. What you want to do, you just want to wait a little bit. You want to wait 
Once the Sage starts moving, because the Sage isn't going to stay here all game, she's going to start pushing yeah. towards your team. Then you start breaking the Sage wall, and then you start pushing the site. So as a Cypher, having this bit of map control is beautiful, because if you're not to there, and you have like a Brimstone watching it, then he's going to be a little bit slower in terms of his smokes. You know, his utility is not going to be up as often. So if you are here, you've got your tripwires watching flank, so no one's going to flank your team. And you've got bath control all free. So that's kind of what you want to do. I'll put a clip in too to show you guys kind of how you want to play the bathroom kind of game. All right, so in this clip, what basically happened was I put my tripwire down for my teammates. Just one because I wanted to use a ghost. Usually I buy a classic and two trips and then max util. That way we don't have to really worry about flying too much. But I was feeling confident in this game. I was feeling very aggressive. So I decided to buy just a ghost. And I knew Sage would play showers because a lot of Sages do. But watch, I allow my teammates to push up a little bit. And then I slowly, slowly make my way into showers. Now that I know whoever is in showers is going to be distracted by my teammates. I so I can capitalize. There is one shower. Healer killed. There's two showers. Foolish. Oh, we're on by him. Oh, uh, congratulations, bro. You just found out our map. He could be I flanking. I only have one trip. Oh, no, both there. Ain't no way we lose this. We can lose this. There's no way we lose this. Got you. My camera is destroyed. You need to get four. One enemy remaining. Three, don't five. Don't peek, don't peek. Don't 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 Here. Pink's back, pink's back. Oh, don't peek. No, pink's back. Pee. Nice. Oh, that Sage is so annoyed. He's tilted already. And what I also like doing is when the barriers go down, I like waiting a little bit because enemies do tend to peek this or take the orb. And when you hear them take the orb, then you can swing. Be careful not to fully wide swing like this because he might have a teammate watching him as he's taking the orb. So just slowly clear this area and then bang, slap his ass, you know, kill him. That's kind of what you want to do. And when to push into showers, you should push into showers when your teammates, when you guys are pushing a site, that's pretty good. Or if you guys are playing default, so if you guys are having one long, one short, one cubby short area and then one you know one watching showers that's when you kind of want to do it if your teammates are pushing a b long or b short then going in showers is a little bit too long especially if they sage wall it it's going to take way too long and a lot of the time enemies will already be in the enemy spawn in their own spawn i mean or they'll take the tp so it's you know it's a little bit uh, it's going to make you a little bit slow if you tell your teammates if you're five stacking or you tell your teammates to play slow and you are then going to flank from showers it's going to work beautifully but that's if your teammates are listening to you and a lot of the time in solo queue games your teammates won't pay attention to you they'll act as if you're just a camera and not a, an actual player so in that case only go through showers if you're pushing a site or if you're playing a default okay so in this clip what basically happened was i wanted to play really slow i told my teammates before the round started i said play super slow let's play default let's run it nice and slow allow me to get some space in showers. If we get a pick on one side, we rotate, that kind of stuff. So that was the plan. And what this meant was, as you can see now, we had three people on B, so this, whoever was in sight would be distracted. And then boom. And you see what I'm saying? Later on in the video, I'll link to this, the where the racers just hold out the grenade because they're just so kill hungry. They just want to get the kills. And then we won the round because of one simple strategy. And when you guys are pushing showers, I suggest you don't go up this way as a cypher. Because you want to keep, you want to, like, the attention on you, you want it to be minimized. You want to be as quiet and as sneaky as possible, right? If you're peeking it like this, and then you have a little battle with the guy there, and you miss, or you both whiff a little bit, and it's, now they know you're in that area, so it's not good. But if you shift up, you know, slowly clear these corners, and then hug this wall as you're walking across, and then wait, 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 and then slowly re-clear, swing left, swing right, Clear, clear, and then you go, they're not going to expect it. You're going to be slower. Your teammates are already going to be on site by the time you're in this area, and then you can actually capitalize like this. Especially if you have a sage on your team who walls yeah. across like this, the enemy's attention will be diverted to the wall. They'll all be shooting the wall. They'll be looking in this direction. They'll think the team, your entire team is over here. They won't look in showers because no one would wall their team off, right? Wrong. Us cypher mains like being walled off sometimes. 
and then we can take advantage of that. If you are pushing short, then there's a certain cam I would like doing. Everything else is just following your team. I wouldn't solo lurk up short because you've got so many angles to clear. Obviously, your cam can do that for you, but it's very risky you then being in the open because you've got to have this yeah. smoked off. You've got to have yeah. heaven smoked off. You've got to watch showers, but also watch lamps. Too many things going on at once, not something a cypher should be dealing with. But you always place this cam if you guys are going short. So even if you're not going short, maybe you just want to put it there. If your duelists are shite, you know, and then you put this cam up, then it, at least this will clear a bunch of sights, and then you can run showers and do your thing there. But this is the kind of camera you want to do. I would suggest doing this as often as you can, especially if you are going short. Look at that. Beautiful. All of sight is covered. Now, when actually pushing it short, if you have a brimstone who smoked maybe sight in heaven and he's saving his second, his, his uh, third smoke, and what you can do is actually use smoke. Cage triggered. Lamps like this, and then you guys can freely cross onto site. All of it smoked off, see? And then you can freely cross site. This is if you want a free plant. If you want something a little bit more, you know, uh, you want a little bit more thingy, um, a lamp control, then maybe you smoke site off, slowly clear, clear this, and then cage, trigger. cage and push. Now, if you stand here like this, they won't expect you to be there. A lot of the time, people who are in hooker will be clearing like this, like this. And then usually a lot of the time people will just swing to try and clear this or like this. And you're just standing here like this. You're like, hello. Or if you're standing here like this, it's such an odd position. And sometimes people will expect it and then bang, free kill. So that's kind of how you want to play if you are pushing short. If you don't have a sage on your team to wall yeah. across this for an easy plant, then what, you, what I would suggest you do is you smoke Cage like this, and then get your plant down like this. Assuming your duelist has actually pushed either onto here, maybe a raise or jet was pushed here. and is now currently in lamps to prevent anybody peeking you this way. So that's kind of what you want to do. If you want to just smoke all of this off, then just do Cage this triggered. and then go with the plant. Just be careful, there's a slight gap there. So some dumbo on your team is going to be like, oh, he's not going to pay attention, he might die, he's going to blame you, but you blame him for being dumb. So that's kind of how you want to push a side. I hope that helps in terms of actually understanding when to use your cages, the best tripwires to use, the cams to use, when to push the left side, when to push the right side. Oh gosh, I just knocked my drink over. But I hope that clears up the a side push. And now we'll get on to b side. So if you guys are pushing b side, and it's a pistol round, maybe it's a pistol round, and you, you want to use a ghost, if you want to use a ghost, then I suggest you do a tripwire like this. Because you're only going to be able to get one if you have a ghost, right? Prevents anybody pushing up this way or fully committing. Or if you want them to like, prov if you, uh, what this does, it kind of diverts them so they go long maybe. And then if you have a teammate up there, the teammate can deal with them. Or if you want them to like, you know, fully commit to the short lurk as in go up hooker, then leave a tripwire like this and make sure your teammates aren't peeking this way. So when the enemy does come lurking like this, he will think he's safe and buzz or he breaks the tripwire. But now... If he runs all the way back and then wraps all the way around, that's going to be such a big waste of time. He's now forced to commit to the lurk and now the attention, you know, he's going to have a little bit more attention on him. You can deal with him a bit easier. So that's kind of what you want to do. But if you have both your tripwires, you know, and you're feeling a little bit naughty and you guys are pushing B-site 100%, then this tripwire is probably the best one at holding the flank, as in... Anybody who's pushing out of a site, because, you know, it's it, they're not going to be able to push this way. And then the second one you can do is the same one we use on a site. So something like this. So if they do decide to then come out of cave, if they do decide to come out of a and then go towards long, this tripwire is going to be there to greet them. You know, if you want to try something a little bit different, you know, you're feeling a little bit naughty. Then what you can do is you see this edge. You kind of want to put your tripwire on that. Place it a little bit below where you think head height would be because um because like in on bind this the floor dips a little bit. So like this. And all the way across. They can actually can't jump over this. It might look like they can, but to, to gain the momentum and stuff and the walls and this brick walls in the way, stone wall, I mean, they're gonna just jump back and bounce into it. So this is pretty good, especially from holding a showers push. It gives you a little bit more control. And then your second tripwire you can put is literally like this or if you're feeling even more naughty and you want to play a little bit slow you can do something like this 
and set up. Now you've got all of this free space being watched because enemies actually cannot push. If they do push, you can either play here, he hits the triple wire, or he breaks it, then you can swing off because no one expects someone to be still here after you've made noise on B site or if your teammates are already on B site. So that's kind of the trip wires you want to do if you are pushing B. In terms of pushing B as a cipher, um, you usually, and I would suggest quite often, having most of your team go up long. Long is such a key part of this map. And not having long control, you're kind of trolling if you're not having long control. So I would suggest... If you're feeling confident, tell four of your teammates to go long and then pull out of yeah. garden. And what this also means is all four of your teammates can take the TP if things are getting too heated on B site. So you tell yeah. four of your teammates to go up teleporter, or tell them to go up long, tell them to go into yeah. garden, whilst you slowly, obviously you have your tripwires placed, slowly make your way into hooker, and then just wait. Stand by this box, this is such a good off angle to have. Just stand like this in case someone does decide to swing it, because if someone over here is swinging it, you know, They'll be clearing like this, and then they're going to get their crosshair ready to pre-fire the guys who are walking up. He'll be like this, mm -hmm. whilst you're just going to be standing here, shooting him. So that's kind of what you want to do. And then what you can do, you can use your cam to clear it. You don't need a sky dog, you don't need a raised boom bar, you don't need sky flashes or anything. Bang. Your camera has cleared everything. The only thing you need to be concerned about is this little corner over there, but you can just bang, you know? So that's a really quick and easy way of clearing hooker. If you want, you can put your cam up there on this thing. Makes the rotation a little bit easier. You clear a little bit more. Though what this means is it's kind of sticking out in everyone's face. So people on site will be able to see the cam a little bit easier. And they might shoot it out. So, But this is still a pretty good cam. Especially if you don't want to peek at all. Or you want everything clear. This is pretty good. You can also use... You can just keep this cam up for the rest of the game. Now that you're... You know, now that um, you can push B site. So... Pretty nice, pretty good. See who's pushing this way, see who's coming out of the TP. Pretty, pretty good cam. And then once this is clear, you want to wait. A sage might wall this, they might smoke this. Wait here. Don't make noise. And once your cam is clear this, you know, you can have your four teammates pushing out onto site. And you're just going to be here as a distraction or as a way to just kill any rotators. Because now that they've seen the guy who, the enemy who is holding long, right? He's going to be, he's going to peek. He's going to say, oh, he sees four people or he sees three people and he hears loads of steps. He's going to be like, oh no, all long, all long. So their attention is going to be focused on long. And if you don't make any noise in hooker, if you're nice and silent, when the enemies do come to retake the site, they won't be clearing this. You can wait here. You can wait here. You can wait behind this box. You can stand on this box and hold like an off angle or like a headshot area. Just bang, bang, bang. Bang, bang, bang. So it's pretty good. This is how you want to push a B site as a cipher. If you are pushing B site and you need to tell your teammates to be very slow because... And let's say you want to lurk through a spawn and your teammates are going B. Then I would suggest going this way. And you just want to wait. Wait. Wait for the enemy to move. Because if you don't hear steps, or if you don't hear anything, that means someone's still going to be on site, and it's going to be a bit of a waste of a lurk if you're just waiting here for everything. Because then your teammates are also waiting on you because you told them to play slow. You want to slowly clear this? You can use a cage like this to smoke your angle off, but I wouldn't, because we want to be stealthy, we want to be sneaky. We leave it like this, and then we keep slowly clear, slowly clear, because now your teammates are making noise or playing really slow on B. It gives you time to push up. And you might catch the showers rotate off guard. A lot of the time, there's going to be a raise standing here with a grenade out in her hand. Like, oh, I'm going to nade through the TP. Yeah. And you're probably going to be able to bow, one tap her face. And then you can take the TP. Once you kill her, then you can take the TP. Or you, once you kill her, you can just get in a little bit of sight control. Tell your teammates to then take yeah. the TP and come back to A. Or tell them to rotate yeah. and come back to A. So just you being in this spot is a very valuable for your teammates. And I'll show you a clip. Or I'll show it earlier in the video and then... You can kind of see, I'll, I'll link it back to this moment where the Raze just doesn't pay attention and is watching the TP, but doesn't realize that I'm flanking all the way around from here and from here because she's just so kill hungry. Razors are so kill hungry, they'll just stand here with a grenade out like a clown and you can kill them really easily. But let's say no one's here. Let's say you've cleared site this way. I wouldn't push this way onto yeah. site. I wouldn't do this because then you got to deal with heaven. You got to deal with showers in case there's a guy who's actually holding you like this. I would instead push into lamps. So, because what this means is once you've like cleared this area, 
Now you can just hold showers as you slowly walk across. Oh my god, I just smacked my keyboard. But you can slowly walk across and then you turn around. Wait. And then you can just keep walking. And now you're in their spawn. You're protected, by the way. No one has seen you go across this at all. Whereas if you walked into the center of sight like a clown, you got, you're exposed from everywhere. But if you're sneaking into la into lamp and then coming out this way, and then you can easily get into the enemy spawn. And you'll get past the guy who has an operator over here. Or, you know, you know? Or if someone's playing Banksy like this, he's going to be holding an angle, or he's going to be holding showers like this, and next thing you know, you just pop out of nowhere and slap him. And then when committing to the lurk, at this point, you do want to step because your teammates will be on site, and people will be looking for you if you're not spotted early, or if you have gotten a kill on a site. So step a little bit, and you see the little circle on the minimap. That's where your footsteps are currently being shown. Not many people know this. I'll zoom into it. You see that little circle. Or oh, it's not a little circle. It's quite big around my uh, little figure on the minimap. That's where your footsteps can be heard until. So you can look at that. And as you're stomping across. And then once you once the edge of that circle touches like Here. hall or something. Then you can start shifting. People don't know this. But as a cypher you can actually stomp on your lurks. As long as you're paying attention to where the circle and where the enemies are. You can really get you know a pretty fast lurk out of that. So that's how you do this, and you end up here, you can then proceed to kill them. I wouldn't suggest pushing into elbow once you are here, I would suggest getting out onto site, because it's going to take too long. You've taken too long anyway, but now while you're here, you're back with your team, you've sandwiched the opponents, you can get a nice free kill. If you are pushing along as a cypher, uh, let's say the barrier goes down this way in this area, and you just want to clear long, then I suggest putting a cam there. Now this is watching all along for you, it gives you time to just walk over here, check every now and then, just to make sure it's clear when you do decide to push up. So it's a pretty nice camp to do. You can also, if you're in this area, you can actually just jump and do a camp uh, like this. This also clears a little bit of sight for you. So if they have an operator who's standing here, you can see his gun barrel stick out. It's, a, it's also a pretty safe place to put the camp. If you want a little bit more risky, you can put it um, like there. It allows you to see more onto sight. Allows you to see someone hiding in cubby or holding an operator angle from there. So these are, there's so many camps you can do along long, and then um, I usually do like smoking this, Cage it just makes my life so much easier, and I can then just deal with a clown who's hiding in this corner, and it also, because the cages last pretty, you know, a decent amount of time, you can then come back and wait here. Now, if your teammates are in hooker, maybe you've got someone playing long with you, or maybe the enemies have smoked here. this off, maybe, pretend this is an enemy brimstone smoke, oh no, I'm smoked off. Oh. You can see all of sight with one camera. Look at that. And all you, and you're not even exposed to do it. You're like you're, you're protected. You can literally just Oh, all of sight elbows being watched. This corner area is being watched. All of sight's being watched. So you've cleared the site for you. You've cleared the site for your duelist. Now all your duelist needs to do is just jump here. You know? So it's such a good cam that you can do on long too. People don't use cypher cams as like a way to attack. They just hold onto them until they actually onto the site. Use the cam to clear the site. Look at that. Imagine, imagine everyone's so focused on killing your teammates and there's so much detail going on, but you just place a cam, you get all the information you need, you see three people, let's all take the TP. Boom. And you're off. So that's a really good cam that I suggest you do when you are pushing from long. I've given you a cam if you are pushing baths. I've given you a cam if you are pushing short. They've given you a cam if you're yeah. pushing hooker, and they've given you a cam yeah. if you're pushing long. So there's so many, you know, vary this up. Now, if you are going A site, I wouldn't suggest lurking B. I would suggest either going yeah. into hooker or long, but you've got to be quick. I wouldn't, I wouldn't like shift all of this, and then I wouldn't shift all of this. You, you, you know, if you are lurking from B yeah. to A, or from A yeah. to B, you've got to tell your teammates to play a little bit slow, so you can gain some space. If they're already pouring out onto site and then they start dying, they're going to blame you because you're going to be in B going really slow. They'll be dead. They'll be like, Cypher, why didn't you come? Why didn't you trade us? Even though you told them, that's the kind of problem you're going to experience in solo queue. In five stacks, you won't experience this problem. But that's why I make these guys, so you can adapt to five stacks and solo queues. The number one Cypher. <laughs> anyway, so I hope that cleared up um, kind of how to push um, Bind as an attacker on Cypher. As an attacker on Cypher? As Cypher on attack. 
I hope this cleared that up, kind of, so you see the steps you should be taking when lurking. The tripwires, I think the tripwires are the main, the main part of bind. Both on defense and attack, because having a good tripwire, you're sorted no matter what. Having good cams on both sides, also good. Lurking on this map isn't as effective, because the sites are so separated, and the only way to get from one site to the next one is going all yeah. the way around yeah. into their spawn, which is such a long walk. But you can still do it, and I've explained how to do it. That is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope everything is cleared up. Do feel free to join my Discord server. I am now a YouTube partner, all thanks to you guys. I'm so excited. Um, the road to 1,000 subscribers begins. I stream quite regularly on Twitch if you want to see that. Discord server, if you want advice, free coaching or anything, join that. Feel free to do that. And I will see you guys in my next video, which should hopefully be a gameplay breakdown. So thank you.